Okay, friends, today is a grammar review. We're looking at the two types of sentences we've learned, simple and compound. So you and your partner, you're going to get this pack. By partner, I mean your shoulder partner, the one sitting next to you. Um, if there's someone that's absent, our substitute can happily put someone with a missing person, or we can have a group of three if we need to. So you're in your packet, you're going to gently tear them apart. So you have your simple compound mat in your group you're going to read each sentence and you're going to determine is it a simple sentence or is it a compound sentence now i want you to remember that just because a sentence has the word and in it that doesn't mean that it is always a compound sentence we can have and in a word and in a sentence and it be small like mrs pierce has a cat and a dog well, Mrs. Pierce has a cat is a full sentence, but and a dog is not. So for it to be a compound sentence, we have to have a sentence and a different sentence that we are joining together with a comma and then one of our conjunctions, one of our fanboys. So just remember, just because you see and, that doesn't automatically mean, automatically mean that it's a compound sentence. So you're going to cut each sentence apart, read it, and then glue it into the part of the mat that it matches, either compound, sorry, compound or simple. Then after you and your partner finish that, while you're waiting on people, not everyone will get to this. I just want to make sure we have enough work. Um, you're going to get a dice from your substitute, and it says roll one die and fill in the sentence type. That number matches in the table. So we have all of these sentences here. If I roll a three, and it says, okay, I need to find a simple sentence. So I'm going to, with a crayon, color in one that I find that's a simple sentence. And then my partner is going to roll. Then they're going to, let's say they end on simple sentence too. They're going to find a different simple sentence and color in with a different color. At the end of the game, the person with the most colors on the board wins. If you're rolling and there's not another one of your kind of sentences, or you pick the wrong one, you lose that turn. So make sure you're paying attention to what your partner does. Don't let them get away with putting the wrong sentence down. So um, I think you please make sure that you clean up your paper, putting it in recycling when you're done, that you stay in your spot while you're doing this work, and that you're not taking over. Part of communicating is, is you ask your partner, you read it and say, where do you think this one goes? And you need to decide together where it goes. The person who does the work does the learning. So don't let your partner take over. Do equal amounts of work.